But what would uh, you, Sir Harold, or what would you do if you found yourself in Mitlefoot's shoes? Limp. <laughs> the way I tell you that. <laughs> but to be serious for a moment, this sort of thing wouldn't have happened if I was still in power. Because when I was at number 10, and remember, I was a man who brought you a World Cup, two Eurovision Song Contests, and the, the artist summers we've ever had in Pisa. <laughs> yes, uh, we've heard that, we've heard that. <laughs> we've heard that till we're sick of it, Sir Harold. Now, tell me, what do you think, and what do you think is going wrong? Well, don't get excited, don't get excited. <laughs> don't really get excited, I'll answer the question. No, when I was at number 10, the cabinet all spoke with one voice. Marcia's. <laughs> So, you wouldn't put Tony Benn down as a future leader of the Labour Party? No, I'd just have him put down. <laughs> Thank you. And this is me. With some blessings from above One man, one wife, for one love through life. Memories are made of this. Yes, a memories you gave to me. Memories are made of this. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is our Christmas offering for this year. We do hope you've enjoyed it, and it only remains for me to say good night, God bless, and have a very happy and healthy new year. God bless. <laughs>